Well, welcome and good evening, wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Moon88, and this is Let's Play Enter the Gungeon Part 23. The previous part, we actually managed to make it into the second secret floor. We fought an old bullet dude, and we died. So, let's see what we can do. I think at this point I'll probably focus on Enter the Gungeon until I get to part 106. I recorded three parts of Willow One for War. It's an interesting and very. Yeah, the fate mechanic is very odd. But interesting. It's just the people are so hard to please! But I think for now, I think I should try to focus. I'm enter the dungeon until I get to part 106. Hopefully I will have beaten a lot of the things in the game. I don't want to blow up that water. So I need to draw fire away from the water. Get away from the water, guys. Because although I have made it to the second secret floor, I have yet to actually beat the boss. I'm trying not to break that fucking water. Which is making me take needless fucking damage. Now I can't even fight back. It's like I'm trying not to break that fucking water over there. And they're like, hey, we want to have you 30 different fucking enemies. So that you have to basically kill yourself. So you can even have a chance... We get to this damn secret floor. Which I probably won't even have the fucking keys to do it. It's just like, hey, we're gonna have 50 fucking people all around this fucking water barrel that we need in order to do this. Okay. That being said, I'm basically gonna die. And there was an extra one up here. I don't care that I broke it. I don't need Oh my god. Hey, I'm gonna try harder to do better! Says me ten seconds later. I'm almost dead. But yeah, as I was saying, I hope by 100 part 106, because I intend to play this to a... Because my goal, I think what I need to do, is I think I need to stop going to other games, and I think I need to try to just focus on Enter the Dungeon. And... I will keep focusing on Enter the Dungeon. Until I get to part 106, regardless of how much progress I've made. That being said, I hope I've made some progress! ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! What is wrong with the fucking tracking on this shit? Getting my ass completely handed. I forget what the other thing I even picked up was. I can't even remember. Get hit, lay on the ground, and die. The map is helpful given how you want to rewind. Never figured out myself. So I run the shop. Now to move the chatter. Buy something, move on. Don't you have something to do? Where do you use your money? How do you get supplies? But yeah, I'm going to. I think the plan should be that I try to focus on Enter the Gungeon and not play anything else until I at least get to 406. After that, I'll try to move on to Dead Cells and try to just focus on Dead Cells until I'm at 106 parts of that. That's pretty good luck with the chess. I don't even care.
But yeah, hopefully I've gotten a proper win by that time. But initially, I'm just basically trying to beat the game. Period. I know you gotta have that bullet to kill the past to get the proper ending. But, the way I consider it, since you can't, you have to save all your money to buy the equipment you need for that. Both brown chests. Winchester for a brown chest is actually very good. Die though, but it is possible to win Winchester. So for a brown chest, the Winchester is actually a very good drop. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I think I should focus on end of the dungeon, 106 parts. Hopefully by then I will have beaten the game with every character and killed the past for every single character. But honestly, given the way that just went, I might have not beaten a single damn level 5 boss by the time 106 parts rolls around. Which means this is still fairly on early on in the roller coaster of me failing to succeed at anything. But yeah, I know that in order to kill a past, you gotta beat the level 5 boss enemy, and you have to... You have to like, get all the ingredients to the boss pass. Which requires you to, one, apparently fight an additional boss after the final boss, and also have to spend a bunch of money on getting the ingredients for which means you can't use that money for, say, equipment, or health, or keys, or ammo, or anything. Which means you're basically going with a lot more barren resources. So as far as I'm concerned, beating the game without getting the bullet to kill the past or anything that goes to it is beating the game on normal mode. Beating the game with the, past, with the gun that kills the past is beating the game on hard mode. What the fuck? I couldn't even see that grenade. I knew the book was there, but I didn't know the grenade was there. Couldn't even see him. But yeah, hopefully by part 106, I will have beaten not only the game with every person, but also killed every single character's pass, got all the unlockable characters, and done whatever secrets there are to be done in the game. However, that's not a chance to fucking happen. Honestly, I might just... I don't... I may never beat a single fly... fly... 5-4 five, boss... 5... Floor 5 boss! I may never actually beat a single floor 5 boss... ever. It may literally be the next... 100, well, basically 90, 80 plus part. Well, this is part 23. Well, that leaves me another 83 parts. So. Honestly, the next 83 parts. This and the next later is just gonna be me. At the same level of progress, having achieved nothing.
What the fuck is this hand? What? What? What is the hand? What is this hand? What? Daruma? What happened? I'm so confused. What was that? Please tell me in the comments what that was. Really, I'm probably going to look it up after I end this part. But please a a answer anyway. What the hell was that fucking master hand bullshit? What the hell? Master hand? Since when is master hand an end of the gungeon? I even tried rolling nonstop to get away from him. What was I supposed to do? So I'll have to look that up. Like, what? What was that Dharma thing? What? Hey, got a gun. Got this one before. Could be a boss with it. Why did they put these? Yeah, guys, why was Master Hand there? Dodge. I dodge that. Are you kidding me? I think I got a little sloppy once I realized the master on was impossible. Elephant guy. Suits elephants. Makes sense. Master Hand still in here? Yeah, what was up with Master Hand? Maybe? What is Dharma? But yeah, more than likely I'm gonna play until I'm part 106, at which point I will have made no progress. Still be haven't beat a single five four boss. Four five boss. Um yes. Now 
Now, granted, not the best item there is. But, I'll just sell this to you. Hopefully you give me a decent amount. Yes, you did. I will... Well, there we go. Got full health and a good weapon. Oh, I have multiple good weapons. Well, since I've never used the elephant gun before, I think I'll rock the next floor of it. You do realize the mistake you made. No. Don't waste the one key you have. Just go back to the shop and be sad. Well, as long as I had an key anyway. Was it worth it? It was a fucking obsidian chest. It was worth it. Didn't have anything to keep, yeah, but sold for more money. So you basically traded the chance to go to Secret Floor for having an extra key and getting the void core gun. That's an acceptable trick. Well, you at least managed to get to the second secret floor once. Now your goal should just be to beat the game, even if it's on easy slash longer than don't worry about beating on hard. Don't worry about beating second floor elder bullet dude. Eternal warrior piss. And don't worry about Metal Gear Solid's snake trouser. And don't worry about, you know, the cheese muncher. Okay, it definitely has some knockback to it. I feel this gun is very effective! Is it just really close to short range? Yep, it seems to be that way. So it seems like one of those things I have to shoot somebody point freaking blank with. Neat! Honestly, it's going to be an ingredient. Ah! So I'm using the, this gun until it's about out of ammo. Not sure how I managed to dodge that, but I'm cool with it. Now gun's not that good. Key. A little short of cash for it, I guess we'll get that. Shape two four. I don't care. Give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the fucking key. I I'm trying to dodge things. I'm just doing an absolutely horrendous job. Thank you for the full heart. I absolutely need it. Buy the key? Yes, it's still buy the key. Why wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, I'll focus on the end of the gun until we get part 106. I dodged that!
This is new. I will test it out next enemy. No. 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 I had your option, but no. Apparently this is a uh, curse because it's all angry something. Knife shield is a shield made of blasphemous knives. Beware of using it as it bleed to bring upon the anger of the jammed. Oh, it's this guy. I'm gonna save him this time. I hope. Can I come here? Is there a cell creep again? No, of course there isn't. I'm gonna avoid using this gun because apparently there's something bad now. What the fuck is that? Is that a flying angel mouse? Uh, I dodged! The game seems to think my timing is bad. But I disagree with you, game. My timing is great. So your timing is horrible. Don't tell the game that! Why did I come this way? Son of a bitch! What about my invincibility frames? Cheap. You were supposed to launch it the other way. Why is my gun not working? You and your hyper beaming son of a bitch ass. Why was he glitched out? He looked like a damn square. Oh well, I at least got to save the... I always got to save Senator D20. Oh my. Thanks for unlocking the door. I thought I had rolled my last one. My name is Daisuke. I am an acolyte of the great Ico Sahedrex. I think the normal name for a D20 is a Deco Dehedron. Look for me in the breach if you want to add some spice to your engineering. Later. 
I don't know what you mean by spice. Well, love it. Couldn't figure it. Is that a fucking pun slash reference off of Hellraiser with the lament? Oh my. Oh, well, at least I saved somebody. Why does everyone look like a damn square? Is my game glitching? Or is it because of that knife shield? Like all my enemies... Or is it my gun? Oh. I think it's my gun that does... Yeah, my gun causes everyone to be a square glitch person? Why? Before the void core was disbanded... Rectangle's enemy. Yep, okay. Rectangled. Ah. Uh, the Tangler shotgun fires particles from a dimension where matter exists only in rectilinear form. Okay. I thought my game was probably glitchy. Nope, just the mind of the person who designed the gun was glitching. I don't think I'll ever even kill a pass. My main goal was really just, you know, beat the final floor. And I'm considering that to be 4 5. That is okay. You know, I'm not. I have seen a distinct lack of gun munches, and honestly, I could use like three of them, if not four. See, either you have them and you don't have a use for them. Or you have a immense use for and you can't find a single damn one. Are you dicking kidding me?
Sure. Well, I think I got some more money doing that. Did I miss anything? Don't think so. Huh. So I just got some free money? Yeah, I don't want to do this, but I understand it's for the bullet to kill the past. I had to buy a primer for that to work, I think. Which I have not done because I can't afford it. Okay. I can make sure bank blank at the start of the floor. That's, that's okay. I didn't see what hit me. That I saw. Well, I'm one hit away from death. Gunch Muncher right now. Like six of them. What is the fucking hand shit? And I couldn't even get picked up by it because everything is fucking shooting me too much. There's no, I hope. I'm glad there's no achievement that says, oh, beat every four or beat, beat a single four without taking damage. I don't think it's ever going to fucking happen. Speaking of Isaac, I said, I tend to watch quite a few of the Tier Grace videos, but he also has a second channel called Tier of Discourse. In addition to that, when I first got into Isaac, there was actually players by the name of Biznap, and Northern Lion, Green Knight 90, and Wolf Something, and Alpaca Patrol, and Cobalt, I think. And there was like five people that all hung out together with Green Knight 90. You know, I know one of their popular streams is like, Return of your farts! It's probably to read by now, but still. They were the ones who really mainly initially got me into it. I'm not even sure what country or state they did.
Not bad, but I had to stop a few times. I should at least do well against the boss. God damn it! What is with that rate of fire moving so fucking fast when I throw some other fucking It's doing so good, and then I just got fucking cheap damage. I was like, oh, I mentioned the no damage thing, so uh, maybe I'll actually do it! Absolutely want. Where is a... Apparently I haven't even seen a shot, but I absolutely want a black chest. No, since it's going to be an item, hopefully it's not passing. I already have it. Really okay. Come to the shop itself if I can sell this. Nope. Uh I found the boss yet? No. Son of a bitch! Well, that feels like a huge waste, so I feel disappointed. Because I can't just leave it there because then little rat guy is just gonna come and steal it. Yep, there it went. I actually saw it disappear from the map. Ah. <sighs> so I was like, oh the chance of it being a passive is too good to pass up. Let's search for the master out. I was really wanting the master out. What is going on with this gun? Why is my movement so bad? You know, I don't care if I don't beat the game. I used a blank and I still took damage. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Barely survived that. You know what? As long as I beat the first boss, it's progress. As progress is measured, yes, not bad. At the end of the day, progress. Measure that whether or not I at least got any of that green money. That is the biggest because at the end of the day, the main thing I'm doing to gain progress is buying stuff at that shop at the bridge. Okay.
Well, this run feels very, um, not going the best. That being said, I know there's a limited number of people I can save. I gotta be running out of cells at some point. I know a gun I want to put for the gun launcher. Did not dodge very well there. Getting a decent amount of keys. I just need something to put the keys in. Which is not gonna happen. This guy is gonna make certain. I really I tried. Ah. Uh. That's enough for this part. How many more ghosts do I have to kill? So where is the uh, dice guy? Oh man. I don't have enough to buy anything. Well, let's at least see if I can... Oh! Here we go. Who are you? It's you again. You don't remember? I am Daisuke, acolyte of the Icos Pedrix. May he of many sm sides smile upon you, soldier. Now on to business. Are you finding your time in the dungeon a little too predictable? No, no, I'm not. A little too easy, perhaps. That is the last thing I would ever describe it as. If so, blessing. My blessing should add some excitement to your day. Feel like rolling the bones? I have to pay you for it! What's your name? Daisuke, of course. Yeah, um... Okay, so I, unlock, I unlocked a guy who can let me pay for... I can't say hard mode, because hard mode is... Just beating the great... Normal mode is just beating the game normally. Hard mode is beating. That's actually no. Let's do this in Halo terms. Easy is beating a floor five boss and not having a gun to kill the pass. Normal is beating the floor five boss with a gun to kill the pass and then fighting the extra boss after that. Hard is. Using this guy's thing, period. Well, heroic and legendary is doing all of that. Fighting the rat guy, beating every single secret floor, Metal Gear Solid, the giant ooze dude, the outer bullet, and something else entirely, and get the bullet capacity with this guy's shit. And you have to pay for the chance. No! Anyway, we're going to end it like always on the magic carpet. So hope everyone had a good day. So I look for my mouse. Bye.